Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. Abridged edition this episode. Unfortunately, I just finished the game and I realized I forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> uh, long story short, Toronto lost. Uh, we lost... Where is it? The, uh, let's go into the league leaders here. Uh... Yeah, Pat Hankin was pitching. He lost. I think it was five nothing or six nothing or something like that. Yeah, Kansas City had a good game. Uh, so, oops. Let's uh, let's go through here briefly, I guess. Yeah, Nixon and Gonzalez, seven stolen bases apiece. Doug out of Sprague McGuire, still leading in slugging percentage. Sprague McGuire tied, followed by Ramirez right behind them. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I had some uh, switch hitter action going on with Orlando Merced that game as well. It brought him back in. He was batting from the. Uh, the left side this time. Don't think he hit any home runs, but no, obviously not because we didn't get any runs. <laughs> we got shut out. Yeah, twenty home runs for Mark McGuire takes over the lead. Followed by Sprague and Carter with nineteen and fifteen, thirty-eight, thirty-two, and thirty-eight RBIs respectively. And pitching, yeah, Hinkins, four wins, 2.482 2 ERA. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I had Hinkin go, what was it? I think it was like eight and a third. I gave him one extra batter uh, in the eighth because, you know, he, like, other than the rough start, he'd started, you know, striking, striking people out, got into a groove kind of thing, and then that last batter cranked one off him for I think 414 feet or something like that <laughs> so yeah pulled him out in place of Risley started to look like we were going to uh, pull something uh, because I think uh, we had uh, the, the heart of the order coming up like right after that uh, you know Santiago and all that stuff and I, brought, I had Brumfield in um, but I brought in Delgado to pinch it I think the inning before. Uh, what else? Ed Sprague. I think I left. I think I left Tilson Brito in. No, no, I brought Juan Samuel in for the ninth. Uh, to pinch hit for Tilson Brito. He had a bit. Of, Juan Samuel has a bit more power in terms of you know home run power than Tilson Brito did. So yeah. But uh, my plan was, you know, have Juan Samuel uh, pinch hit, and then if we manage to tie it up or uh, go past or, you know, leap over the, the Royals in the ninth, then I would have brought in uh, Garcia to, you know, for the, uh, to play second base. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. All right. Crabtree, the only pitcher in the American League with an ERA of zero. He's only pitched how many? Yeah, three innings though. So <laughs> the National League has quite a few more people with an ERA of zero. Randy Johnson and Facero, both leading in strikers with 48 apiece, followed by Avery and Key with 42 and 41. Pardon me. Roger Clemens is right up there with them with 40, though. And, yeah, Andy Pettit, even though he's given up 33 walks, he's also struck out 39. So he's got some uh, high count at bats there, I guess you could say. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, we faced Apier. I think the first pitch of the game was a 99 mile an hour fastball. <laughs> the second was a 98 mile an hour fastball. Both I swung at but missed. <laughs> oh boy, those few extra miles an hour definitely make a difference. He had a good game. I applaud him for that. And yeah, Randy Johnson finally gave up a run in the, in the first inning. So, yeah. All right, so the National League now. Barry Bonds still at the top with a batting average of 402 with Gilkey and Martin behind him with 352 and 333 for Gonzalez. Six stolen bases for Clayton and Johnson. Slugging percentage is Henry Rodriguez, Gilkey, and Bonds leading in that order. Seventeen doubles for Blouser. Tie for second with nine apiece for Gonzalez and Joyner. <laughs> Five-way tie between Henry Rodriguez, Hundley, Gilkey, Randa, and Bagwell. Triples. Five-way tie for the lead for DeShields, Grudzelanek, Johnson, Morandini, and Brett Boone. Fifteen home runs for Rodriguez. Ten for Sosa. Nine for Ghent and Gilkey. Thirty RBIs for Rodriguez. Twenty-seven for Gant. Twenty-two for Gilkey. Ruben Sierra still leading in walks, followed by Bagwell and Lopez, the 17 apiece. 26 runs for Bonds, 22 for Rodriguez, 18 for Gilkey. And for pitching, right with 5 wins, ERA of 2.025. Yeah, we got uh, quite a few more. Pitchers with the ERA of zero. Looks like they might all be relievers of some sort. Well, I guess maybe not all of them. Well, even the ones with the, the few games they've pitched, it looks like they just came in for a couple innings or so. So Six saves for Shaw and Ruffin. Fifty one strikeouts for Schmidt, forty eight for Cordova, and forty seven apiece for Loiza and Smoltz. <coughs> Pardon me. Twenty one walks for Gardner. Five complete games for Schmidt. Shurik has yet to give up a run in the first inning. Yep, seven games, seven quality starts. Alrighty. And now for standings. Alright, so at the end of April 30th, 1997, these are the standings in the American League in the West. Texas Rangers leading with 12 wins, 14 losses, followed by Anaheim with 11 and 14, Seattle 12 and 15, Oakland at 10 and 16, the Central Cleveland Indians leading with 19 wins, 7 losses, followed by Kansas City with 13 and 12, Minnesota 13 and 14, Chicago 11 and 15, and Milwaukee 8 and 18. In the East, Toronto Blue Jays 23 wins, 3 losses, followed by Baltimore with 18 and 9. Detroit at 16 and 11, New York 10 and 17, Boston 8 and 19. In the National League, in the West, Colorado leading with 15 wins, 10 losses, followed by, four, by followed by San Diego with 14 and 11, San Francisco 13 and 12, and Los Angeles 8 and 17. And I realize that the West has three of their teams are in California. It's like, yeesh, they've got a lot of teams down there. <laughs> That's just the National League. 
Maybe we should go back and check. So they've got one, two, three. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back to that. So in the central, uh, St. Louis, seven, St. Louis uh, Cardinals, 17 wins, 9 losses, followed by Cincinnati with 13 and 14, Chicago 11 and 15, Pittsburgh 11 and 16, Houston 7 and 19. In the east, Atlanta 19 and 7, New York 15 and 11, Montreal 13 and 12, Philadelphia 13 and 13, and Florida 11 and 14. So yeah, uh, so that's 1, 2, 3... Four, five. Okay, so there's five. Five of the eight teams in the West are California based. <laughs> they like their baseball down there, I guess. They like a lot of sports down there. But they've got baseball, they've got hockey, they've got multiple teams, the NBA. <laughs> Uh, the NFL. Go California, I guess. <laughs> All right. So there we go. That is the end of April 30th, 1997. Next time on May, May 1st, I'll probably show this at least. Uh, I know it just in case it actually triggers something I don't want it to. May 1st, Toronto Blue Jays are still in Kansas City for their third and final game of their three-game set before heading home to play host to the Minnesota Twins on May 2nd. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching this abridged edition of Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. And have a good one.